Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tushar Mehta, orthopedic surgeon in your faculty of orthopedics. Well, today's topic of discussion is these two confusing fractures. Let's simplify them. I'm sure by now you must have understood that we are dealing with a bone called trapezium. We are dealing with a bone called as first metacarpal. The fracture is quite evident in front of you and believe me, it's not in the trapezium. It is in the first metacarpal. It's not in the head. It's not in the neck. It's not in the shaft. It is in the base of the first metacarpal. This is the trapezio first metacarpal joint line. Well, is the fracture extending into the joint line? Yes. Is that called as an intraarticular fracture? Yes. Now, is that fracture line? Is that fracture line transverse? No. Is that fracture line spiral? No. Is this fracture line oblique? Yes. So, to conclude, we deal. We are dealing with an intraarticular fracture of base of first metacarpal which is for sure oblique and displaced and this is what is called as Bennett's fracture. Let's switch over to the next one trapezium first metacarpal. Fracture is not again in the trapezium it is the first metacarpal it is not in the head not in the neck not in the shaft it is in the base. Now, this is the trapezio first metacarpal joint line. So, again, my same point of view is the fractal line extending into the trapezio first metacarpal joint. Yes. So, am I going to call this as an intraarticular fracture of the base of the first metacarpal just like the previous fracture? Yes. Now, is this fracture oblique? I don't think so. Is this fracture having more than two fragments? I do think so. One, two, three, probably even four. So, with this smaller smaller size of fragment i will definitely going to i'm definitely going to call it a comminuted fracture apart from that i can see uh, i can see a v shape sometimes you can see a y shape sometimes you can see a t shape so this fracture what you have seen just now is what is called as rolando's fracture so guys to conclude two fractures of the base of the first metacarpal both have one thing in common that both are intraarticular then what is the difference if it is oblique and displaced bennett if it is t v y shape it comminuted rolando so this is how you differentiate bennett and rolando a very frequently asked topics right from your ug to pg entrance i wish you all the best thank you so much